there's another name which I want to tr throw in, and I know that most of the people won't like that, but I would like to see what Marcus Mariota can do with Kai Shanahan. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think it's the best fit because I think Shanahan really does want to go down the field, and that's not really Mariota's game. I think Mariota would be a better fit <laughs> with New England, throwing the shorter passes and then uh, adding on. I, that's the way I look at it. I think Shanahan wants to go down the field and hasn't been able to because Jimmy can't. And in that sense, Mariota could run the offense that Jimmy runs. There is no question about it. In that sense, I'm with you on that. He could definitely run the offense that Jimmy runs and move a little bit better. I think he could. But um, the reason that Kyle keeps going back to Cousins is because Cousins can throw down the field. So, But I, I see what you're saying. Like, Mariota's cheap. He runs the offense that's in place. It's already a bunch of short passes that are dependent on yards after the catch. He's mobile. And, you know, the guy I like the most in this draft, Kellen Mond, physically reminds me a lot of Marcus Mariota. A lot. So um, it's an option. What do you think? Here, make the case. Well, what I do see of Marcus Mariota that, of course, he won't likely throw through the field a high or a great or a long pass, which Kai Shanahan prefers. But I have seen at the end of the season that Kai Shanahan um, called some um, option games with uh, CJ Better. And mm -hmm. uh, that's something which uh, in which Marcus Mariota shined in the NFL. True. He's great at it. Mm -hmm. And um, he can throw, of course, some really great short balls as well. And uh, we have seen why we have that Super Bowl run, sadly, two years ago from now, <laughs> or at least a year ago, that, yeah. that we can win games just by running the ball and having short passes. True. True. And, and he would he would enhance your running game because he can run as well. Yeah. That's something in which Marcus Mariota is way better than Jimmy is. I, and, you made a great case. You're making and, a great case. And and he gives uh, you the option to not have an as perfect offensive line that a uh, great offense needs. So it, the drawback he, is that he's had injuries. Of the offensive line just by being as mobile as he is. The drawback is he's had injuries, but the, the nice thing about Mar Marcus Mariota is he's cheap. I mean, he's not going to make starting money. He's basically uh, a high-level backup considered right now. He's basically considered the high-level backup. So it's like $15 million a year, maybe $10 million a year, something like that. And uh, I wouldn't want to pay him all that money to be my backup. That's too much money to spend on quarterbacks. But, but if you get rid of Jimmy and you go with Josh Rosen, a rookie, Nick Mullins, now in Mariota, you bring in a former high draft pick who is not being like you can actually have a quarterback competition. He's not making so much money that you just have to give him the starting spot. Yep. And if he loses the quarterback competition, you can afford an expensive backup because your starter is probably making nine hundred thousand dollars or something like that. So I like the the financial position to put the Niners in. He's a you know it's like getting a really cheap car that that might run pretty well it's like oh, it's okay you know yeah. think about the yeah. price you know, i can get this for nothing it's great yeah yeah i like okay. it and again the big point here to me is that guy was the second pick in the draft and he they've given up on him before his 30th birthday uh he's probably about jimmy's age josh rosen 10th pick in the draft they gave up on him before his 23rd birthday basically and you know what a lot of people in this draft coming out could be Justin Fields, could be Trey Lance, could be Zach Wilson, are going to bust, and people are going to give up on them really fast. And it's not going to be fair because those guys might have succeeded had they been second-round picks who could sit and learn, but instead they were thrust into the action on a bad team. And I think there's a market there. Take Get some of these quarterbacks off the discard pile and revive their careers because they have talent and they've been given up on too quick. Yeah. The thing yeah. is that I, I do think that we can get him cheap, he can perform instantly. And I do think that he is smart enough to learn Kyle's system. And that's why I do think that he is the greatest option right now that we could have. It's Mark Mariota. That's he'd be I cheaper than I Trubisky. I think he'd be cheaper than Trubisky. Yeah. I think yeah. he might yeah. even be cheaper than Ryan Fitzpatrick. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, you, I think the, the other option would be Andy Dalton. Would you have there have Andy Dalton or Marcus Mariota? Well, Marcus Mariota. No question. He can move. He can move. Yeah. I like that. He wasn't on the radar at all. That's a good call. Uh, 
And yeah, it's just because he can't throw down the field. He's not supposed to be the long-term answer. No. You're bringing in a cheap competitor for the job who's going to compete with Josh Rosen and a, and a rookie and Nick Mullins, assuming he's healthy. I like that. Good call.